da 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 On this episode, we'll be building the awesome mini POV kit from Adafruit. It's your own little persistence of vision display in the palm of your hand. Let's go! For this build, we will need a mini POV kit from Adafruit or the Maker Shed, soldering iron, nice rosin core solder, a multimeter, good for checking continuity, a USB to serial adapter if you don't have a serial port on your computer, a vice or helper hands, not required but really handy, and last but not least, a pair of flush wire cutters. The Mini POV is great for beginners because of the low part count and the simple assembly. Head over to adafruit.com slash mini POV3 for the complete build instructions and lots more. First things first, get yourself a clear workspace with plenty of light and start soldering in the parts according to the build instructions. Make sure to bend the leads a little after putting it in so it won't slide out when you flip the board over. Once some parts are soldered, Wear some eye protection and clip those leads. When it's time to do the serial connector, make sure to put lots of solder on its leads as the connector sticks out like a handle and these connections are the only thing holding it to the board. For your little AT tiny chip, its legs are bowed out a bit, so there's a trick to getting it into the socket. First, make sure you're free of static charge. Then on a nice flat surface, carefully bend all the pins in a little, till they look about parallel. Then match up the notch on the chip to the notch on the socket and push it in. For the battery wires, I highly recommend putting a blob of hot glue where they meet on the board so they don't break off when moving it around. Once your wires are in and your batteries are loaded, flip the switch and you should see blinkies! Woohoo! Now set up the AVR loader software for your system according to the Autofruit guide. Once you've got it, it's time to make something new for your POV to display. My dad hacked together a cool little web app for making messages or graphics that outputs a binary array that you can paste directly to the code. How neat! Once you've hacked your ones and zeros, it's time to compile and upload. This can all be a bit tricky and hard to get right, but once you get the hang of it, you'll be AVR programming like a pro. When the upload finishes, you can start experimenting. Try attaching your mini POV to a bicycle wheel and give it a spin. Maybe try some long exposure photos moving it around in different shapes or patterns while the shutter is open. Or attach it to a spinning toy you can twirl around and amaze your friends with. So how does the mini POV work? It's easy. Imagine a single slice of your list of ones and zeros made into holes and dots respectively on a strip of paper, which by the way, used to be how binary information was stored. If you shine a light through it, you can see that the ones allow light through while the zeros remain dark. By then quickly switching to the next slice of the picture over time, we're only missing one last piece of the puzzle. To get the whole picture, all we have to do is move the slice to the next position in space at the right time, and our brains do the rest of the work by piecing the whole picture together from the after images. And that's persistence of vision. I love brains. Mm. Brains. 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 There's lots more you can do with it as well. Like change out the LEDs for another color, like blue or green. Attach a sensor to switch the scroll direction or change the firmware to make it into a strobe or anything else you can dream up. That's it for this episode. Remember to experiment with your designs, respect your soldering iron, and get out